towards you for the love of God towards your life. Somebody appreciates you over God for his love, for his kindness. Bless the Lord with all your heart. Bless the Lord with everything that see you. Let the redeemers of the Lord give thanks to him. Let the redeemer of the Lord praise him. Thank him for grace of power. For grace of power. Thank him for grace of power. Let's exalt him. Let's magnify him. Let's give praise to him. Jesus, we thank you. 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 Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we give you praise. Exalt him. From the bottom of your heart, let's exalt him. Let's say to him, Lord, you are good, excellent God, the old God, our Lord, our Father, we thank you. Our Lord, our God, we worship you. Our Lord, our King, we give praise to you. We give that honor to name. We give that worship to you, God. Let's bless his holy name. Let's endure his holy name. Thank you, Alpha and Omega. Thank you, the Rock of Ages. Thank you, our place of strength. Thank you, our place of power. Thank you, Lord, for the journey of our life. Thank you, Lord, for the journey of our children. Thank you, Lord, for the journey of our life. I appreciate Him. Give that glory to Him. Give that honor to Him. Give that praise to the King. Give that glory and honor to El Shaddai. Thank you, loving God. Thank you, Lord, wonderful God. Thank you, Lord, glorious God. Thank you, Lord, powerful God. Thank you, Lord, in saints of days. Thank you, Lord, the rock of ages. A place of strength and power. Somebody exalt him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing, oh God. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the King. Somebody bless the over God. Let's give God the praise. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is our place of strength. Our place of power. He is the Omega of our life. He is the beginning of our life. Thank you for the strength that he has given to you to wake you up this morning. Thank him for the strength that we have received this morning. Let's thank for the strength of God. Thank him for that strength of his power for waking you up to be in your right mind. Let's appreciate him, the Lord. I just thank you. Oh, I just thank you, God. Thank him for the strength of his power. Somebody thank him for the strength of God's power in your life. Let's thank him for the strength of God's power of bringing you here this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus, of connecting you with him, of knowing him. Let's worship him and give God the praise. He is the Alpha and Omega of our life. He is the Alpha and Omega of our life. He is the Alpha and Omega of our life. He is the Rock of Ages of our life. He is the strength of our life. Let's appreciate him. He is the strength of our life. 
this I appreciate the Lord. He is the strength of our life. Lift a voice. Thank Him. Let's appreciate Him. Appreciate the Lord. Give God the praise. The over God we worship you. Thank Him. Bless the Lord. Bless the King. Bless the over God. Give the Lord the praise. He is the rock. He is the Alpha. Appreciate the King. Give glory to Him. Give honor to Him. Give praise to Him. Give glory to Him. Jesus, we thank Him. Just thank Him. Just think of His goodness. Just think of His mercy. Think of His faithfulness towards you. Of His kindness towards your children. Towards your family. God has been good. God has been faithful. Is a righteous God and holy God. God that faileth not. God that always with us. God that always for us. Give that wish to him. Give that honor to the king. God, that the Lord that is worthy of all praise. Is worthy of all our praise. The Lord that is worthy of all praise. Is worthy of all our praise. Appreciate him. I appreciate the line of Judah. I appreciate the rock of ages. I appreciate the praise of our stand. I appreciate and give that honor to him. Give your love for God now. Thank him. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we praise you. Rock of ages, we honor your name. Our place of strength, we thank you, Lord. Someone give that praise to him. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the King. Appreciate the Rock of Ages. Appreciate our strength and power. Appreciate him for what he's doing and for what he will do in your life. Let's give the Lord the praise. Let's give Jehovah God the praise right now. Honor Him from your heart. Praise Him from your heart. Bless Him from your heart. Give glory to Him from your heart. Sabbat Him from your heart. Let's worship Him. Lord, you are so good. Excellent God, you are good. Wonderful God, you are good. Glorious God, you are good. Faithful God, you are good. In Jesus' name, we pray. I just want us to thank him this morning and return the glory back to him. In any areas you know that he has been faithful to you, I want you to begin to mention it to him and say thank you, God. I want you to think about his goodness. In any area you know that God has been faithful, just say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you concerning my life, concerning my education, concerning my children, concerning my family, concerning my proof. Uh, yes, with everything, any area was for my security, for my protection, for your love towards me, for your patience towards me. Just thank Him, Father, I thank you. Lord, just thank Him in any areas you know that God has been faithful. Just give God the praise. And thank him for it. Oh, thank him. Maybe we are like God has been faithful. Like I just thank him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful.
We are grateful for your love. We are grateful for your kindness. We are grateful for your faithfulness. We are grateful for your goodness. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Ah, we worship you, God. We worship you. We thank you, Lord. We we'll exalt you. Thank Holy Spirit. Thank Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Let us begin to ask the Lord to wash our sin and cleanse us. Let's acknowledge who we are before the Lord, that we are sinners. In the Bible, says, all have sin and fall short of God's glory. We say all have sin. And what happened? We are four short of God. I mean, we did not meet God's standard. You know, there's no way we are four short of God's glory. I mean, we can't able to meet the sin. He has, he has not. Uh, the sin has reduced the strength in us, the capacity to meet God's standard. All, oh, everyone born of a woman. All I've seen fought very short of God's glory. But through Christ Jesus, we can be able to meet the standard of Him. Through Christ, the strength only comes from Christ alone in us. So let us acknowledge who we are. The Lord, I am a sinner. I know. Forgive me. Confess those sins. Ask for forgiveness of those sins. I am a sinner, I know, O Lord. Forgive me my sins, O God. Wash me from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my trespasses. Deliver me from my transgression. In the name of Jesus, create a new heart in me. A new heart in me, in my life. A new heart in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray to God. A new art, Matatura, Maasu Tuliaba. A new art, La Parusu Tokalia. A new art, La Gadeli Maushu Tulima. A new art in me, Ripata, lift your voice and pray to God. Ripusun Tulima Azikatawa. You see, all I have seen and fall short of God's glory. Ask the Lord to forgive every sin. And cleanse you from that iniquity, and cleanse you from that trespasses, and cleanse you from every transgression in our heart, in our life. Let's ask the Spirit of the Living God to come, to come to strengthen you. Let's ask for the Spirit of the Living God to come, to come to uphold you. Let's ask for the Spirit of the Living God to come, to come to help you. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice to Jesus. Let the Spirit of the Living God come to come and dwell in you. The Spirit of the Living God to come and occupy your heart. Let's pray. Lift your voice. Father, let the Spirit of the Living God come and fill me. Empower me. Empower me this morning. Empower my life. When you are empowered, the yoke will break. When you are empowered, you will not be under the bondage of enemy. When we are empowered, we are able to do 
the right things before the Lord. See, Lord, that's why Jesus said you shall receive power. That's why we, the power is needed. He said we shall receive power. And the power comes through the Holy Spirit. Lift your voice. Empower me this morning for victory for my life. Empower me for enablement to be able to move forward. Empower me for great things. Empower me for your purpose, O oh God. In that, pray for the power. Pray for the power. Pray for the power. Pray for power. Pray for power. Pray for power. La por sacaba. Pray for power. Madeka rosu toliaba. Pray for power. Le prondo sicarebo. Pray for power. In Jesus' name, we pray. I hear the testimony of a man. You know, he was there. Uh, was sharing his own testimony. And the man was talking about, I went all over to get power all over. He said, I was saying it, that he went to many states. There's the one place, and also, he, isn't in Mina or something like that, he went there. They have to do all kind of stuff for him. You know, so he empowered himself to be able to do things. He said, one day he went over to a place maybe to rob them too. And also the, the other man trying to use a uh, thing against him. You know, I always say, devil always use one power to submit other. They will use one power to submit. That's what is happening in the kingdom of darkness. One power that is one powerful will submit to other one. You know, so we, that's how it, it works in the kingdom of darkness. Power submit to each other. Hallelujah. So this man trying to eat him with the other thing, but the power that's in him is more than that one. So it's not that it's not that it's the power of God. We can say, oh, the power of God is more than that man. No. So that man has to submit to him. You know, you know, he has to you know. But the only thing that the power that energy cannot undo is the power of God Himself. Is the power of God Himself that comes into your heart through Holy Spirit. Let's pray for that power this morning. I don't know whether you have been saying, I want to do this, but it's not possible. I want to be this. this if I receive power, when the power comes, it breaks the yoke of limitations. It breaks the yoke of that delay. Let's pray, power of God, fill me this money. Power of God, fill my heart this money. Oh, my shy Rebecca, help Power of God, fill me this money. Somebody pray. Lift your voice to God. The power of Jehovah God to fill you. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice this morning. I need the power of God in my life. Somebody lift your voice to God that you need the power. As a Lord, you need the power of God to fill you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody open your heart to pray. As the Lord and the power of God to fill you right now. In the name of Jesus. Let the power from above come in his power this morning. Afresh on you. Afresh on your children. Afresh on your family. Afresh upon your work. Power of God that will elevate you. Power of God that will break that yoke of that delay. Somebody pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the power of God fill your life. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God break the yoke this morning. Power of God fill me and break the yoke. Power of God fill me and deliver me. Somebody pray. Pray for the power. Pray for that power. Pray for that power. La pora batalla. Kunaya na ma Le prendo si que te levo. Baquen que le va a ir a la. prendo si que te levo. Open your heart to God. Power of Jehovah God. Fill my heart. Power of El Shaddai. Fill my life. Power of God. Fill me. In the name of Jesus. Pray for that power so you can come out. Y caraba gaya. Le son to yada. Rupo to yada eh. Meshente liaga, bakuntu liyama osa kilea, bekoto libra dey, 
le prêt de ce que tu es. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name, we pray. You are the one that needs the power. The, uh, the pastor, man of God, don't need the power for you. You yourself, you need the power for your life. Yes, you need the power for your life because this world is, and this world is getting out there. You know, we all know that as young as I am, I know things have changed in the world. Yes, as young as I am, you know, I, I myself, I can know that, oh, the world is not the same anymore. The world of 2000, 20, uh, uh, let me see, the world like, uh, well, 2022, in 2000, where we can say 2000, just a short year, is more more of 22, uh, the year of this year, which is 2022. The year of 2000, you know that the world of 2000 years, now I'm not saying 2000 years ago, but 2000, 2000 and this now is not the same. Even though the world of last year is not the world of this year. This is getting deeper. Things is getting, you know, things is getting, you know, this is not getting, to a child of God, this is going to get better for you. That's the promise of God. That's what God is going to do. To you, personally, things is going to get better for the children of God. But generally, you can see, this is not the same anymore. Whether you're in America, or you're in anywhere, you're in London, you're in the Western world, or you're in Asia, or you're in Africa, you can tell that things is not the same anymore. You know, like before, I never hear of terrorism like that, bombing, something like that. But you hear it you know, in Africa, especially in Nigeria, you never hear of that before. Somebody is you not know, bombing, nobody's now all over. I've, I've never, I know, I live in a not, you know, the church killing has been there, you know, for all this while. People burning the church down. It's not a new thing. It has been there for many years. But now this rampart thing is getting more, you know, now in the western part also. People are just, you know, being killed in the church. So, you know, in this world, you need, what do you need the power for? That power to give you victory. Over there, over also a spiritual battle of your life. Over every spiritual battle of your life, over every physical battle that have ma the battle that manifests itself physically, there's some battle which is a physical battle. Hallelujah! And there's some battle which is a uh, spiritual battle. Some battle have manifested itself to you. You know about it. You know what is going on in your life. You can tell that though this battle, this is not a joke. The battle has manifested itself to you. And some battle they do not manifest to us. That just you know on the ground battle, you don't know where it is, you don't know where it's that battle from, you just know something is happening to you. Today, the Lord will break that battle in that name of open your mouth and pray. When you are empowered, you will not be handled down anymore. When your life is empowered, you will not be hold down anymore. I want you to pray for that power. He come up and pray with all your heart. He can die on my own Saturday. Borata, God knows that you need it. Because your survivor in this world depends on it. Why he want to deny you? So many people ask me, how did I get power from God? It's very simple. When your heart is open and your heart is yearning for it, God himself knows you need it. So why he don't want to give you? Because you know you can't survive without having the power. There's no victory without the power. Hallelujah. He knows. So why God wants to hold it? I'm not going to give you the power. I'm not going to empower you. It's what he will do for you. Because when your heart is open. Hallelujah. And then yes, when your heart is open and truly you are seeking the face of him without your heart. Tell Lord, empower me this morning. Power from my balls. Fill my life. Power from my balls. Fill my life. I am a kind of cider. Open your heart and pray. Power from above. Let the power fill your heart in the name of Jesus. Matoria Magosutoriaba. Le Prondo Tukanaba. Erobaku Kapa. 
le prondo shikaba le doya baga le goya makosate gerie bakite le bo baropa kotolia repotolia da le ketile bugosikia le prondo shike le bo prefera power i want to be free power of god fill me power of god occupy me power of god fill my life power of god fill my children the yoke of enemy must break that yoke of delay must come soon that yoke of failure must totally remove open your heart to god power of god in the name of jesus fill me this morning fill my heart fill my soul fill my children power of god from my bob in the talia makata lo sonto liaba ro poto liaba kada le to liaba ko soto liaba le prondo shikero le to liaba ko soto liaba le tekelebo papa le koto liaba ko soto liaba open your heart and pray le parashata le prondo shikero power of god in the name of jesus fill my heart e kateli abakata le porata kayabo matoli akati repatoli abagaba in jesus name we pray just that name i do it hallelujah i pray that the power of god fill you right now in the name of jesus you know, i don't know where someone is bearing that name you know just think of this let the power of god fill you at your crossroad in life let heaven fill you with power to overcome say that amen wherever you are at your crossroad in life let the power fill you in the name of jesus let the vestar receive grace in the name of jesus Let the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus makadaria also to the heart fill you right now in the name of Jesus fill your heart madaria ma osundu yaba ripatoria ma oshakaya ba power from above power from above occupy your life somebody pray let the power of God fill me Let the yoke of my life break today. What breaks the yoke? The Bible talks to us about what breaks the yoke. He said the anointing breaks the yoke. Someone can carry a yoke forever for the rest of his life. But when the power of God comes, he breaks the yoke. That power of God rests upon Paul and Barnabas that night in prison. The gate was opened. because there's a power of god he shook the foundation of the prison uh, i pray for the manifest in, in, uh, i pray for the manifestation of god's power that we make our heart to believe more in him manifestation of god's power that will release our heart for god more we want to see more of god's power you know i know when people see more have been where have seen where the power of god has happened it lifts our hearts up your heart our heart it lift it up He increase our faith oh he makes what you are doing in reality to you say so, lord the power of god breaks this yoke of this delay he can do it this morning he can so no more that my life is struggle no more that you being in bondage power of god rest on me and break the yoke of my life break the yoke of this delay barrenness and failure break this yoke of sin break this yoke of this disappointment in my life break the yoke of paraboliting in one circle no progress open your heart to pray i got a baba o sakaba o la baba o kababa lift your voice and pray let the power of god to break the yoke in your life let the power of god release you from the bondage right now in the name of jesus from negative voice over you from negative activities over your life in the name of Jesus maliega rola ba shikelia ma power of god deliver me somebody pray you can pray that prayer that the power of god will set you free i'm coming out i'm coming out 
la que lo ama o soco para ba le prendo si que la bagaba le prendo si que te le boca pa la prendo si que te le bon marcando ya ma costo ya bon le prende si que le boca pa le prendo si que la bon e cada baga pao go set me free from every battle of my life in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray, say Lord, power of God set me free from every spiritual word. Hallelujah. That is tormenting my life. The spiritual word that you cannot see with your physical eyes. You know, sometimes when we are telling some people that oh, this word is oh, oh, I don't believe that. Um, but it, and it's real. This is spiritual word, which is real. God is also himself, is his spirit. Which some people deny God. There is no God. Don't deceive yourself. That's a spiritual word that we, we don't see. You know, the invisible and invisible thing. The Bible talks about the visible and invisible. We live the life of visible. You can see me. Now, there's another thing that you cannot see. It is said, God, open your eyes. Yes, I, I, can, I, I can see a little bit, you know. And I don't know much, you know, you know. I don't know much, but uh, I can say this, but I've seen things uh, that can say that can confirm that, you know. You know uh, I can say little, 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 you know, you know that I can say these. This is what it is. That okay, you know, with a little experience, with the little things that happen, you know, I, I can say, oh, this is what it is. This has happened. So I can say little, little. Hallelujah. That's the way that is spiritual word is that we can see that also affecting your daily activities. Affecting oh so you are just putting fear. Oh it's true. There's no fear, you know. It's true, but that's the reality. You know, that's the reality. You know, you know, I've seen someone that says hearing the voice, you know, hearing voices. You know, it is true. It's undeniable. You know, there's whatever power that is inflexing your life today, everyone will break that yoke in your life. Every power influencing your daily activities, holding your life down, not to move today, the yoke will break. Pray that Lord should break every power today that is working against the progress of your life. Every activities of darkness over you in the name of Jesus, every activities of the evil one over your life, let the power of God begin to break it right now in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. Rapatoria Makushakayaba, Le Prendo Sikayaba. Open your mouth about that God should empower you so you can have victory, so you can come out of that place, so your dream can come out. So your life can come out. So your children can come out. Ikabako soto liyama. Limprendo suko to liyama. Lakara baku shike liyama. Limprendo sike telebo. Bakando ya akabaya. Open your heart to pray. That the spirit of failure depart from you. That spirit of backwardness depart from your life. That spirit of delay be moved from your life. That spirit that is denying you of blessing, denying you God depart from you. Every power working against you, every spirit working against your life, working against the glory of God in you, the blessing of God in your life. Let power of God come right now and set you free from every weapons of darkness, from every weapons of darkness, from every weapons of the evil one. From every weapons of enemy, in Jesus' name, we pray, say, Lord, let the power of God destroy the weapons of darkness over me. The weapons of darkness is not only headache and you know, sickness in the body. The weapons of darkness also probably be a delay in life of somebody. Sickness, disappointment, barrenness, that's a weapon. His weapon, the Bible told us that no weapon that any that form against your life shall prosper. Weapon also can be lack. Some people have think of their life 
without no money. You know, I, I don't know how far it's true, but I was like, I don't know. I think I need to do more. Somebody commits suicide because of this. It's the weapons of enemy. Well, to delay the person that makes the person to think that what can I do? And, I, and surrender and give up. No, don't ever do that. That will be the last thing to do. Just hold on. Don't ever think that devil will run evil thought. But it was a, you know, as a child of God, just okay. It's good or bad. I have a plan. Enjoy your life. I know it's very tough when someone's going through things. Hallelujah. It's good to live in peace and joy, you know. But when someone is passing through things in life and you have tried your best, you have been in many places, no solution, and that thing is still there, I know it's very tough. I, I know. It's very tough. You know, it's not something easy. You feel rejected. You feel down. Even though, especially, you are looking up to God, you pray, you have so it, you have so is, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have do a kind of stuff, you know. You know, have, you know, many people have passed through things in life, you know. A lot of people pass through things in life and they come to come out tired. But dying is not the solution to it. It added to it. But once you look unto God for what you are passing through and your heart truly you are looking unto God, there's a victory for every child of God. Just wait. You know, just there's a victory. Once you believe God for your solution, and in Him alone you put your trust, not in a man, the solution will eventually come. You know, I, so sometimes you come to a point in our life, God, you know what's going on. He knows. Sometimes you are tired, you, do, you don't feel like it's happening, it, but pick yourself up. It's going to happen. Many people in the scripture, they are discouraged. People discouraged, yeah. People get, yeah, they beat, you know, Elijah was discouraged. Moses was discouraged. Abraham was discouraged. You know, many people in the scripture were discouraged. Great man of God, but they never sought, succumbed to it. They picked themselves up. They move forward. So you don't surrender yourself. Just, you know, find a way to be happy in Christ. I know, man, so you don't know what is going on in my life, Pastor. You don't know what I'm passing through. You know, you know the devil runs many thoughts in our heart. Run many things. It makes you to feel like you don't know what you're doing. Hallelujah. But I pray this morning, the Lord will bring the battle to an end in Jesus' name. Can I hear that amen wherever you are? Sound it very well. The battle will come to an end in Jesus' name. I don't know what you are going through. But that very thing that you are passing through today, that hold, that take hold of your life, everyone will bring an end. Solution will come this morning. Your deliverance will manifest in the name of Jesus. Your way out will come to manifest. Your way out will manifest out of that situation. Your way out will manifest in the name of Jesus. That Lord will give you that your way out. You will come out of that delay. You will come out of that failure. You will come out of that struggle. In the name of no matter what you are going through, today you will come out of it. You will come out of it. In the name of Jesus. You will see the victory over it. In the name of Jesus. You will see victory over it. In the name of Jesus. You will see victory over it. And that victory will happen now. That's what we many of us are waiting. I know. But let it happen now. It will happen now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will wipe away your tears. Say that amen. Heaven will wipe away your tears. The Lord you are going to wipe away your tears. Your tears will come to an end. Your tears will come to an end. Anyone rejoicing over the tears of your life. The Lord will make that tears to dry. You know some people... And they are taking your tears that give them happiness. They put a bucket before you cry here, and then that's what their joy. Today, your tears will come to an end in the name of Jesus. Anyone rejoicing over your tears, the Lord will put them to shame. Every spiritual power rejoicing over it. That in that your tears they rejoice. In that your tears they're happy. When you are crying, there's the happiness. Today that battle will come to an end in your life. In the name of Jesus. That struggle will come to an end. 
in your life. Jesus, that you put your hope will set you free. Jesus, that you put your hope will set you free. Jesus, that you believe will set you free. It will deliver you. It will deliver you. Holy Amakai Messiah. Barila Mao Parusa Kopelama. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my dad. Your pillar will not fall. Your pillar in your life, Ikaparo Sotoya, will not break down. Say that, amen. The pillar in your life, the pillar in your family, the pillar in your life, Leporo Santa, Dako Paro Santa, Rado Shikara. Anyone in your life that God has made a pillar, I know God is our pillar of our life, but we position some people in your life to be a pillar for you. To carry his assignment in your life. God used man to carry his assignment. You know, as I'm sitting down here. You know, I know God sent me. But God is not here sitting down here. He's here. But he's not here. You are seeing me. Hallelujah. So in many lives, too, God has positioned some people in your life to carry God's agenda. God used a man to carry his agenda in your life. Those ones that God has positioned. To carry his agenda as a pillar for you in the name of Jesus will not be break down, will not be removed. I pray for you. I'm praying for somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, in your family. Every plan of evil want to hurt your life, to inflict pain in your life, the Lord destroyed that. The Lord destroyed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Lord, answer me speedily. Let me see a great result quickly. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, hear me speedily. Answer me speedily. Open your mouth and pray. Lift your voice to Jesus. That Lord God of heaven to answer you speedily, to open the doors of your dreams, to open the doors of your life. Pray to God, say, Father, answer me speedily. Pray and talk to God, answer me speedily. My life need your help, my dream need your help, my children need your help. In the name of Jesus, pray, talk to God. That God of heaven to answer you speedily, 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 speedily. Le poroso toliaba, le kotoyama katayaba, le prono sukaba. To come out of every shock, every disappointment, ask the Lord to answer you speedily, to open your womb, lift your voice, answer me speedily, to do great things in my life. Somebody pray. Pray and ask the Lord that God of heaven to answer you speedily, speedily this morning, that the doors of your life, the doors of your dreams open. Somebody pray that Lord God of heaven to answer you speedily, quickly, let that be resort, let that be manifestation in the name of Jesus. Let that be manifestation of that glory, of that breakthrough, of that baby that you have been believing God, of that life partner in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray somebody pray, say, Lord, take me there. Good thing that is awaiting me. Oh, thank you so much. Somebody lift up us and that God will take you there. That good thing that is awaiting you. That beautiful place. I must, I'm not talking about the temple now. <laughs> say pastor are, are you talking about heaven I, I have a child to take care of uh, hallelujah even though God is not saying you should rush home you have a plan you know every one of us you have a purpose on this earth there are many people that you have to touch their life so there's no way to there's no need to rush home hallelujah so far you are fulfilling your dreams because you're going to stay there forever so why you want to rush home hallelujah there's no need to rush. Uh, let's fulfill this assignment on this earth. Make impact. There's no need to rush home. I'm sorry, I'm not talking about heaven. Take me here. I'm talking about building 
a, a glorious glory that is await you, that, is, that take me there. Jesus, the Lord God to the children of Israel, is taken to the, a place where they did not dig through their work for it also. But God has prepared the place. God just wants them to possess it. At one point in time, they relax. Because it, you have stayed upon this mountain enough. Move. Take more land. God, you know, you know they, they relax. You know, that's why the Jebusite and the Egypt was among them. The Amorite was among the people of Israel. God wanted them to clear them off. So far, they cannot clear them off. They stay with them. No. So not only the children of Israel leave Israel, but God want them to take the land. But they are, they are, they are so relaxed. So okay, is that what you want to do? They're going to stay among you and they're going to be a problem to you. Because they can't even take it. But God has promised you will get there. It will happen. The reality of your miracle will happen to you. Say that, amen. The reality. The, you have been praying for it. Not only you are seeing yourself in the dream. The reality of your breakthrough will happen. The reality of a glory will manifest in your life. The reality of that carry that baby that you will see. Can you carry that baby? The reality of your fulfilling of your dream will happen. In the name of Jesus, it will surely come to pass that you will move forward, that you are going higher. It will surely come to pass. Your miracle that you are waiting for, you will surely, it will surely come to pass. That what you have been waiting, the Kabaro Sata, Biro Bekete, ever will perfect it. In Abakope, you will come out of that class. Repatori Amago Sata. You come out of that position. You come out of backwardness. You come out of delay. The reality of your miracle will happen. In the Yababa, there is a fulfillment of your dream. And one day, that dream of Joseph came to pass. Your dream will come to pass. You have been waiting for it. When is it going to be my turn that I'm going to have my own child in life? When is it going to be my turn that I'm going to add that I will move forward? It came to pass in life of David, God made a promise to him that you rule over my people. And you know, people enemy pursue him, not only pursue him out of the country, and among the people that he's going to rule over. He sent him out to Philistine to live among the enemies. That's the half battle. But one day, the reality of that dream, I don't know what God has told you. I don't know when I don't know what I've been prophesied. Over your life, I don't know whether you have what all you have discovered through the scripture, the promises of God over your life that you have been waiting for, that you have been praying for, that you have been seeking the face of God for. Today, I pray, let that thing come to pass. Today, 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 in the name of Jesus, let that breakthrough happen to you. Let that fulfillment happen. Every power waging war against it, every power waging war against the glory of your life, against the fulfillment of your dream. Oh, I've never realized that in those where the promise of God, devil always want to wage war against it. Where in the fulfillment of someone's dream, Devil, look at the scripture very well. Devil is going to war against the fulfillment of our dream. That's why it's the battle. If God promises, if I say to you today, oh, my sister, I can see your glory shining. Now, it's, it, now it, <laughs> at that moment, is the moment to begin to pray. I want you to understand. Any word of God being given to you and is sweet to your heart, it's not time to go and sit down. Ah, they have told me that my children is going to be great. <laughs> you better begin to go and pray. Now, because I've been told, not only you that hear that, since I know that about now. Oh, yes. Okay. We shall see. When many of us would like to hear prophecy, 
you know, you like to hear it, you know, to hear people telling you, oh, this is what it is. It's okay. There's nothing bad in it. I'm, I'm not against it. It's okay. But you are, you are, to me, I just don't seek it. To me, I don't. Like, let me find somebody that's going to talk to me. Uh, you know, I know. If God wants to set it up, you know, I believe God should set it up. That's my, I believe God should set it up. Like, not I myself looking for it, you know, like, it will suit me more when God, like, people that don't think about it, and uh, it happened like that, you know, it suits my heart more. You know, but that's not the beginning, that's right the way to pray. Because I've never seen anyone in the scripture of where God promised and the devil wants to let go. Daniel, he has to pray that what you have said should not be delayed. Abraham, God promised him to go to have a child. So many years he came. Hallelujah. Isaac, the same thing. Jacob, the same thing. The glory. God says, He's going to make you to you. I'm going to fill your dreams. See how what, 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 what Jacob went through. Just the journey of a few days. On to many 21 days in his life. 21 years in his life. Just go to your brother's house and be there. And now he turned to journey of just a few days that your brother, you know, have just a little, you know, the blood is the blood is between your rabbit removed. That's the purpose they told uh, uh, Jacob to go to the house of Laban. Just, just go and come back with the young. And that journey turned to 21 years. Seven, seven, and seven for himself. Journey of few days. Every power postpone the journey of your dream. Until God told him, pack your load and go back to Bethany. Hallelujah. You will come out of that place. Your glory will not be aborted. Say that, Amen. The glory of your life will not be aborted. In the name of Jesus. The glory of your life will not be aborted. In the life of Malara. The glory of your life will not be aborted. In the name of Jesus. The glory of your life will not be aborted. In the name of Jesus. The glory of the life will not be aborted. In the name of Jesus. In life of Shei for me. In Parosakayaba. In Korabadoli Agadabu. The glory of your life will not be aborted. In the name of Jesus. The glory of your life will not be aborted. In the life of everyone that is here this morning. The glory of your life will not be aborted. The glory will surely come to pass. The Lord will fulfill the glory for you. In the name of Jesus. Your dream. What you have been told. That will happen for you for good. You have been told good things. You know those good things keep us going. Yes. That's why I never denied. When God tells oh, you, you're going to, don't worry, you're going to be blessed. You're going to increase. It makes you happy. It increases your joy. Those words increase you. It, it makes you feel happy. It increases your life. It keeps you going. There must be good news. If the news is always bad, life is the, the good news has to come. Oh, God is going to do this for you. It's okay. It keeps you going. Oh, I'm going to get there. But I pray anyone that wants to go above the glory of your life, the Lord will put them to shame. That's why the Bible told us in Isaiah chapter 60, He says, Arise and shine, for the light has come. And the glory of the Lord risen upon thee. Now begin to lift, put your right hand upon your head and begin to declare it to yourself. Rise now and shine. Begin to mention your name. Arise is a command. Say, Lord, first us. Arise and begin to shine. The glory of God is upon you right now. Arise and begin to fill your dreams in this land. Arise and begin to go and speak to your life. Speak to you. Speak to your life right now. Take a power. Speak to your children. Arise, Moko Paro Bagaba. Le Prondo Sikayaba. Madonna Abotolia Bagadaba. Le Carabacoso Toyaba. Le Prondo Sikele Bogaba. 
la pondo suko tole gaba omani ni ikaba o soto yaba arise to shine say arise to shine arise to shine la power of so the glory of god arise to shine in this year somebody speak to your life speak to your life right now say arise to shine speak to your business arise to shine the glory of god is upon you shine shine in this year shine in this season somebody begin to pray arise to shine for your breakthrough arise to shine for your moving forward arise to shine for your going higher arise to shine for a new things arise to shine speak to your life arise to shine and let the name of Jehovah God be glorified thank you good God in Jesus name we pray say I will shine declare say I will shine no matter what I will shine declare that you will shine no matter what shine in every situation I shine in the name of Jesus the glory of God is upon you go and shine the glory of upon your children go and shine the glory of God is upon your life go and shine in the name of Jesus shine 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 no more delay of your dream no more delay of your life go and shine the glory of God is upon you shine shine in this year shine in the name of Jesus go come go and bring forth your light go and bring forth your light in the name of Jesus let your step be ordered in the name of Jesus all 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 good things your dream your life has been waiting for they begin to come to pass the glory of the living god will shine upon you the glory of the living god will shine upon your life the glory of the living god will shine upon your children that glory of the living god no one can quench it the glory of man so one can, but the glory of god nobody can quench the glory of god that glory of god will shine on you we shine upon your business we shine upon your children we shine in this season in the name of jesus your life shall have a testimony say i shall have my testimony say it, i shall have that you shall have your testimony i will have my testimony in the name of jesus in the name of jesus your testimony will surely come to pass in the name of jesus and the name of him alone shall be glorified thank you good god in jesus name we pray receive your testimony i receive it as they hand it to you let it come to pass i'm talking to you right now as that testimony was given to you like a package let it manifest oh now as i said as we have heard it now let it begin to happen let it come to pass you have heard that word that was given to you now let it come to reality you have heard it that there was released to you now you can hear that let produce a kelaba let it happen like that to you and let the name of Jehovah God be glorified thank you righteous god in jesus name our lord we pray amen we wish that it is not surely is going to happen to you and you will testify to God's goodness surely it is going to happen to you and you will testify to God's goodness surely it is going to happen to you and you will testify to God's goodness can somebody shout a big hallelujah shout it louder shout it louder shout it louder shout it louder for your way out shout it louder for your way out give God a praise in Jesus name our lord will pray amen may just put in mind that the prayer continue tonight you remember by 12 one i put 12 one or something like that at midnight you know this time and i know the lord will go strengthen you and make sure you share it make sure you invite your friends i pray to you will go and also remember i know on monday get the oil you know just have oil you know just just have oil with you when you are feeling um throughout next week you know just you know, and you just get the oil with you you know 
I don't want to make big deal about it, but just look at the oil with you when throughout next week as we go to pray. I know the Lord will go do good things in your life in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together. I go over the water, let that water be blessed. Let everyone trust in God for the fruit of the womb. Let God remember you as remember Anna, Elizabeth. Let God remember you, Sarah. Let God remember you in that name. Let that good thing happen to you. Your heart long for it. May you see it happen to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace. For the grace of Jesus Christ, love of God, and His perfect Holy Spirit. May we touch now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We should join us with the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can somebody shout a big hallelujah? Shout it louder. Shout it louder. You are blessed. See you tonight. God bless you. Bye-bye.